Hi gang, Joel Palmer here at Vintage Fitness Studio Vermont. Say, are you somebody that sits a lot for work? Uh, do you have a desk job? Do you sit in front of a computer all day? Do you have to sit at a, a workstation, maybe in a factory setting? Well, let me tell you, sitting for long periods of time, terribly detrimental to your lower back. Um, really, the human body is not built for sitting. If you look at it, it's a, a series of levers and moving parts. We are built to move, we are not built to sit. That said, I understand the dilemma. So many of you have jobs where you have to sit for long periods of time. So I'm gonna show you just a few little things you can do right at your workspace. It takes you only a minute or two to do that might be beneficial for you in the future, help to uh, prevent future back pain or acute back issues. Um, some of the worst parts about sitting, just so you understand some of the mechanics, as you sit for long periods of time, it compresses the discs. Those discs get compressed, thinned out. Sometimes the material can even start to bulge a little bit and create pain, local pain, or even radiating pain because nerves get involved. Other things that occur, facet joints get a little compressed as well. Some of the, uh, some of the support tissue around that facet joint starts to get overstressed, so that can create pain. The other thing that can happen, and it's very common, is that because you're sitting and all that compression is going on, um, a lot of the microcirculation to the lumbar musculature starts to get cut off, and then that muscle tissue becomes anoxic, meaning it's not getting enough blood flow and oxygen to keep the tissue healthy. What is a classic uh, uh, symptom is that maybe you're not so sore while you're sitting there, but then you go to stand and suddenly you realize your back is really stiff, or you go to stand quickly to answer a phone or grab something off your desk, and suddenly, bang, you feel that acute tweak, and you know you just did something. Well, a lot of times that's because that anoxia in the lumbar musculature is causing some tissue deterioration, and then when you move suddenly or quickly or even just overextend yourself just a little bit, like reaching across your desk, it's enough for that tissue to tear just a little bit because it's not getting enough blood flow and oxygen to keep the tissue healthy. So here's a few things you can do. Let me just show you just a few little uh, routines I, I recommend to my patients just to help uh, break up their day and try to keep them healthy. The first thing is practicing the short stop position. Short stop position is um, the athletic position, okay? It looks like you're a short stop in baseball. So we do it this way, we put our hands in the front of our thighs, we just let our hands slide down so that they, their fingertips come over the kneecaps, and boom, you're in that short stop position. And then we have you stand. And when you stand, stand tall, Squeeze your quads tight, squeeze your butt tight on the backside, and I even like to just make my abs hard, okay? Brace a little bit with your abs, okay? So again, short stop position here, hands on the front of your thighs, reach down, stick your butt back, almost like you're gonna sit on that chair, right? Butt back, almost like you're gonna sit from the side, just so you can see. We wanna keep that flat back, um, that neutral spine, so we put our hands on our thighs, we reach down, boom, you're there. It is key to keep your eyes up. Please, don't look at your feet. Once you look at your feet, your body goes where your eyes tell it to go. If you put your eyes down here, your head's gonna drop down, butt sticks up, you're in a bad position, it's terrible for your back. So stick to, eyes up, look somewhere in front of you, okay? Hands on your thighs, and what we do is hit that short stop position, bang, boom. Short stop, that's the bottom. Come all the way up, squeeze at the top. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your abs, right? Short stop. And I just have people do like six repetitions. That's it. So you're from here to here, one, two, right? Count on six reps, there you go. Second thing you can do is if you're a kettlebeller, or even if you're not a kettlebeller, you can practice, get a little motion going, practice doing a phantom swing. A phantom swing starts again from our short stop position. Hands will now come to the inside of your thigh, so your forearms actually touch right on the inside of your thigh. And then from here, all you're gonna do is come up, push the hips forward a little bit, hands come up chest high, back down. 
right? Short stop position to the top position. Again, from the side, we are short stop here to the top of your swing. Notice the hips push forward just a little bit. You're not doing a back bend, but you're just sort of squeezing your butt tight and pushing the hips. Let them translate forward just a, a little bit, okay? So again, bottom short stop, flat back, eyes up, drive the hips, back down. Drive the hips, back down, okay? Last one I wanna show you is a bird dog. Normally we do bird dogs on the floor, on all fours, but most people probably don't wanna get on the floor in the middle of a factory or it might be awkward in your office or if you're in a cubicle, there's no space. So what we do is a standing bird dog. We use our chair. Put the chair in front of you. Grab the chair, okay? And what you're gonna do is you are gonna raise opposite arm and leg. So I'm gonna just raise my left arm and extend my right leg. Then go to the right arm and the left leg. Okay, so that you can see the whole thing here. Let's go, left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. That's left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. Okay, there you go. You can do 12 total of those, so you do six each side. So you do six short stops, six phantom swings, six each side of the uh, bird dogs, you're good to go. You can sit back down and get back to work. If you want to add another little wrinkle, I do oftentimes also add in a, a supported standing uh, cat camel position. It does a nice job of trying to get some, um, some blood flow through that lower back as well as getting some hydration back into that disc. Okay, so you're standing here, you would just do the cat camel, you round, press, round, press. And you're not doing a big motion here, just sort of a gentle motion, trying to get a little bit of fluid exchange in the discs of the lower back. That's it, okay? So you could add that one in there too. Do about six of those, okay? So if you did all that, that would start to break up your day a little bit and you'd have fewer problems with long-term sitting. Um, here's how I recommend doing it. Perform that little routine, six of everything, okay? Halfway through your morning, do it again at your lunch break, and do it one more time halfway through your afternoon. Break your day up a little bit. You're gonna find it only takes like two minutes to do. It's gonna be quick, so you're not taking huge breaks, but just enough to maybe pre prevent maybe some, uh, some ongoing or long-term lower back issues, okay? So there you go, hopefully you found that helpful. And remember, life is heavy, train for life. Come on back here to uh, VFSV. Check out some of our other videos, get a slew of them on there, and uh, have yourself a good day. See you soon, bye-bye.